juicy, juicy news today. We have just learned uh, about, I don't know, like an hour ago, um, the news broke. You know, well, it was less than an hour ago. It was on the NAL's website for several hours, but now it isn't known. As soon as I saw the Twitter post, I knew, you know, I called it. Well, I didn't call anything, but I knew that there was something wrong, you know, with this Twitter post saying, the NAL has terminated Tampa Bay, the Tornadoes, and the Louisville Extreme, basically not honoring their commitments. Th these two teams never should have been accepted into the league in the first place. That reeked of desperation. You don't... Yeah, Jersey was supposed to come, you know, years ago. I, I can I can, I can see it. I can see why you accept them now. They have new owners and stuff like that. West Virginia, same thing. You know, they were supposed to come in the NAL two years ago or three years ago, two or three years ago. They didn't have they didn't have it then. They didn't have the money then. Now they do, and now West Virginia is dormant. They are not playing in 2021. Um, the virus is still not looking, you know, easy to stop right now. So I doubt. You know, West Virginia will be playing. They might be done, to be completely honest. But they still have some buyers out there, you know. Still have some buyers, if that makes any sense, you know. Um, Marcus Coleman, on the other hand, who was supposed to coach the West Texas Warbirds, a team that also shouldn't have been added to the CIF. I think the CIF should have stayed with the six teams they had. Um... But instead, they had they had, they had West West Texas, you know, announced you know for 2020. Now you know um, Wyoming, which is out of their geographic footprint, by the way, for 2021. So I don't know why those two teams were added. So again, you know, I don't know why those two teams were added. So it looks like Coleman is going to coach the San Antonio Valor, and. A big shot name that was formerly in the IFL, you know, for Iowa and Tucson. Yeah, that's pretty much, you know, it's looking pretty much closer to what we may be, you know, what has been rumored for weeks and weeks and weeks now that San Antonio the Valor may be coming to the IFL. I don't know yet. There's nothing set in stone. There's There was been, you know delays and what in the world this team is supposed to be announcing because they they had you know announcements and stuff ready but it's just been delayed mostly because of, probably because of ineptitude probably because of corona um, so i believe the valor are going to be an ifl team not sure yet still that's what i'm thinking um, i don't know about y'all but yeah this is a big blow to the nal this is really is um, because it really just shows off just how desperate they were to add teams, and they really shouldn't have added teams, you know, like that. Jersey and West Virginia, I can understand. These two, Tampa and, and, and Louisville, no. They came directly from the AAL, hadn't played a game, hadn't paid nobody, so it didn't make any sense to add them. That's, that's what you get. That's three teams now in 2020 whose memberships have been terminated by the NAL. Remember the Baltimore Lightning and whatever the whatever the world Will Hanna's doing up there, you know, HMG and the crew, whatever they're doing, I don't know what they're doing now. It doesn't really matter. That's old news. But now we have confirmation of, you know, these two teams being gone and the NAL is at six teams again with one more on hiatus probably also dead you know so not in a good position you know I mean you know it's it's been one bad thing after another for both the NAL and the CIF you know it's been one bad thing year after year after year for both these leagues where I just say they're uh, below the IFL honestly you know you know, if it weren't for the IFL, not really, you know, players like, you know, um, 
a you know an amount that makes logical sense. I think they'd be tier one. IFL would be tier one right now. They're, they they they. The, the, the IFL is the closest thing to what the AFL was. They just don't have the money to pay the players more, you know. And NAL and CIF are stuck in this weird, you know, hodgepodge of being dangerously close to AAL level and maybe the American West Football Conference as well. And, you know, trying to get that IFL level of success and not getting it. So I don't I don't understand I don't understand what the NAL is thinking. I don't understand what the CIF's thinking either, you know, with their decisions over the past few months. But it is what it is. So that's it for this video. Y'all have a good weekend. Enjoy college football on Saturday. Enjoy some NFL on Sunday. And we'll see ya Monday.